Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're looking at Bitcoin and what we can do in case we missed buying the lows. Now you know if you've been following the channel, we've been buying Bitcoin at the lows. We've got an average price of 34k. We've been buying our strong altcoins and I'll make a separate video on altcoins as well. It might come as a surprise to some people. They might think that I'm a Bitcoin maxi, but of course not. I want to make money from the market and use cryptocurrency to protect my wealth. So if you like the sound of that and you want to follow the journey, make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, follow me, on Insta follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and also the free newsletter. Link to that is down below. Special still on the Investor Accelerator Patreon group. All the links are down below. Let's get started. And firstly, with this video here, what uh, this is what we fear most. We obviously fear the market taking off without us, but we also want to hold on the sidelines just in case the market drops again and we can buy some cheaper Bitcoin or cryptos or whatever it is we're wanting to invest in, right? So if the market takes off without us, we get FOMO. We start to buy. Then it dumps against us and we think, why the hell did I do it again? We didn't learn from our lessons. That's one massive thing that we fear. We also fear that the market will just take off without us and never come back like we saw in 2019. Uh, I'll show you that on the charts. So if you don't have a plan, start to create yourself something before the market takes off. You know, we've been following the fear and greed index. As we can see today, it's at 69. Feel free to leave your jokes in the comment section. Uh, so we're at 69 today. We were buying it at 15 or under. So this is the updated Bitcoin fear and greed. It's just updated in the, the formatting. My brother, Michael, who's also got a YouTube channel. You can go check his channel out. Michael Pizzino does great technical analysis, short-term trading. Um, so he's updated this easy to see what the price is today. We can see our return on our average prices that we've been buying in at. And this is the average price here at 34K. So we're buying it all the way down uh, because of particular sets of criteria based on fear and greed. Some people are asking, what is the fear and greed based on? If you just go to this website here, it'll tell you everything you need to know, data sources, and it explains it all for you right there. So that's one idea of a plan. If you don't have this and you haven't been buying Bitcoin and you're sort of freaking out like, when am I going to buy it now? I'll show you that in just a second, like the areas that I would look for. The other thing people tend to do, and this carries through for all markets, stocks, real estate, it happens everywhere, that you'll start to go into riskier areas of that niche. So we're looking at cryptocurrency. You miss Bitcoin, then people go, well, screw it. I'm going to go to the, the large caps, Ethereum, Cardano, Solana, whatever. And then they miss those and they go, screw it. I'm going to go to the next riskier space. And you go to the smaller caps and the smaller caps and on the way down. That, that's pretty much how people do it to try and get some money back because they are late to the party. Don't do that to yourself. Make sure you get yourself set up with something like this. Bitcoin, I don't think is, is too late. Let's have a look at the market caps. 1.75 trillion. So we're we're growing, which is good. We're above our 50%. I'm waiting for the next major 50%, 1.82 trillion. We're up. Bitcoin, 7%. Uh, the top 20 is doing quite well. Polkadot seen a bigger growth than everything else. Solana's up there as well. Another one of our favorites, Dot Solana. You guys know that if you've been following. ICP's had a massive jump today, but remember it has been crushed. So it's been smashed down. It's bounced back now. Uh, everything else in this top 20 is doing not as good as Bitcoin, right? And this is what we're going to have a look at here. So just make sure you're paying attention to your altcoin against the Bitcoin pairing. You can see that they're all red now, 24 hours. A lot of them are red. There's a few good ones here, of course, Polkadot and Solana and ICP. That's what you want to pay attention to, not just the dollar value, because otherwise it's probably better off just holding Bitcoin for the period of time that you want to invest in, right? But we do like altcoins to make bigger gains at set times. Looking at the total market cap, this is our next major milestone. And we also want to get through these highs. You can see the highs that are sitting at around that 1.78 trillion and the 50% is not too far away at 1.85. So these are the critical levels that I'll be looking for when it comes to uh, going a little bit more on the buy the dip side of the market. You know I'm not about buying all the dips. Not all dips are created equally. And you'd probably be familiar with a lot of other sources 
saying to buy all the dips and they were probably buying on the way down, buy, 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 buying everything and, and really not paying any attention to what what your portfolio entails. Maybe you don't have all the money to be buying all these dips. So that's what I wanted to have a look at for this video is where would I start to say, I want to buy the dips. I want to buy the dips and I am, uh, you know, I'm going to do that up to a particular point. So the first thing is we break out of some highs, right? We got to get through that to turn the market to a up to, uh, a long-term uptrend. We've got to get through these highs. 50% level is the next biggest one I would look for. I'm looking at the total market cap. So above this $1.85 trillion. We go to total three, which is all of the crypto market caps except Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is the total of each of the cryptocurrencies, like what their, what their value of their business is, if you're unfamiliar with what market cap means. We're not just looking at the particular price of each of the coins, like, you know, Cardano's $1.40 now or Ethereum's $2,900. This is the total market cap, but the value of the cryptocurrency, the business itself. So this is now also above 50%. And if you look really subtly here, the monthly chart, so a macro view, it closed above 50%. That's a good strong sign. Although the volume is down, at least we've got that for now on a macro chart. That's a good thing. So above 700 billion is another nice number. So I'm just looking for indicators to show me that the market is turning to extreme bullish before we break to new all-time highs, which is generally when the news gets really crazy out there in the media and people all start jumping on board when it's well and truly up there. So I want to get past my 50% levels. So this is all the market caps except Bitcoin and Ethereum. The reason I look at that is because that's all of the altcoins. This is against a dollar value, remember here. Next is Bitcoin dominance. Now, we saw altcoins move against Bitcoin, their, their Bitcoin value over the last few days, but we've just seen Bitcoin come back. And as you can see from CoinGecko, Bitcoin has been beating the altcoins again. So they've been bleeding out yet again. They did have a little bump. Some of them are stronger. There are definitely cryptos, altcoins, which are stronger than other altcoins. And you want to make sure that they are above their 50% level. And I'll go into that in another video. Back to the dominance. The dominance may be on the rise again because Bitcoin is looking stronger. Check out Bitcoin at the moment. We've broken through the highs. You can see here that this chart looks much stronger. You can see a high here in May, a high in June. The recent high we just had in early August, late July, we've just started to break through that. And then our next levels that we've got to, get, uh, we've got to crush is 44K, 45K, and then of course 47K. I have this as our 50% level because I'm using a major high and you can see here it's at a major low, 44. I know a lot of people are looking at 44 as well, 44,000 based on say moving averages. But our, my ultimate one is our 50% level from the all-time high to the what could be the corrective, the, you know, the, the low that came through in the correction, which sits at around $47,000. You can see here 46,758. But I'm going for 47. We had a couple of lows there. That's a good, nice round number to get above. Then we have a nice solid up uptrend. So we would be breaking through the 50% on the uh, total market caps, 50% on the altcoins, ex, you know, excluding Ethereum and Bitcoin. And then we're breaking through the 50% on Bitcoin itself. And we start to get this strength in the market, some consolidation above that level. Then, and only then, do I think it's possibly time to say, all right, now let's start to buy the dips. The next question comes is, what constitutes a dip? Is it 10% or more? Is it 15%? Is it 50%? You know, because we had a time in January where the market went down, you know, maybe you bought this dip, but then it went further. And then we climbed back and then it dipped again. You thought, damn, I'm going to buy this dip. But then it went further and it climbed back and then it dipped again. So that's something that comes into testing. So how far down we did we go? We went 27%. These ones went 18%. Then we went to about 31%. So maybe a filter, a rule that you can add into your plan if you haven't bought Bitcoin yet, you're looking for it to get to bullishness, very strong signs of bullishness in the overall market so that we're not just buying 
on a potential relief rally. You know, the market tricks us, moves up, and then absolutely crashes and takes out the $28,000 low. We want to get that confirmation. And then maybe we switch into gear of let's buy the dip. All right. And then we got to figure out where do we buy the dip? Do we buy the dip after 4% down or 7% down? Or do we buy the dip at 20 plus percent down? All right. And you just have to know that maybe you'll miss some because maybe this wasn't 20% here. You see measure from the top, you know, that was 10%. And you'll miss that dip because it's not part of your plan. But you might get this dip here. Damn, it's higher. But you just don't know that at the time. And that's why you have to set yourself a plan, test it and see which numbers suit you. Because at 10%, you could be buying everything here and maybe you don't have the funds to do that. So that's an overall look at where I'm seeing the market in terms of, is it too late? Are we flipping back into a bullish sense? What are my triggers to understand? Is the market becoming more bullish? And then can I flip the switch on my plan and say, now I'm buying the dips and then flip the next switch and say, all right, how far does the market have to drop in order for me to buy the dip? These are all sorts of things which need to be in a plan. You can play it however you want and just go with influences and other sources and basically try and buy on every single day down if you have the funds to. But personally, I, I prefer to have it laid out nice and clean so I don't have to think about it. It's just do it like a machine. I hope you found some value from that video. Where we're going to next, how I would how I would look to play it if I'm looking to get into the market and I have missed out on getting us an average of a 34K Bitcoin. Remember, nothing is guaranteed in trading or investing. And of course, it's not financial advice. Make sure you do your research, do your testing, write your plans out. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you found some value, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. Plenty more investing videos coming out. That's generally the space that I love to dive into is how to invest to make money from these markets. I'll catch you guys at the next video. The Investor Accelerator is still on special. Check it out, link down below and also the free newsletter. I'll leave it there. Until the next one, have more fun to get more done.